So what I'm going to do is that before I use or do anything, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a page, an HTML page that's going to have the form. This is the first step that we need to do. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to head on over to the to the blog here, to this uh, blog, uh, to this blog uh, uh, folder, and then I'm going to create a, an HTML file here. I'm going to say new file, and I'm going to name this file employee dot HTML and I'm going to insert an HTML code here to uh, that contains the form so first of all I'm going to copy the code from the index I'm going to copy this HTML code from here and then I'm going to paste it in the employee form and then here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the form so I'm going to start by creating here the form let me give myself some space and then I'm going to say form and inside that form first of all I'm going to start by I'm going to say here form and then form to close this form and inside that form what we need is that we need first to to say h1 to display what this form is all about so this form is going to create i'm going to say create employee or insert employee employee whatever you want to say second what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create the i'm going to say here dev and then for this dev uh, we need to uh, display input that's going to allow you to insert the name of that employee. So I'm going to say here uh, dev and for this dev first I'm going to give it style. I'm going to say style. So the style is going to be margin 10 px and the and it's going to be auto margin 10 px auto and the width is going to be 50%. I'm going to say width 50% because I don't want it to take the, the complete screen width. Uh, next, I'm going to display a label here. I'm going to say label and label. So for this label, I'm going to say uh, here uh, name because we want to insert the name. Next, we want the input itself. I'm going to say input and for the input, we need to specify the type. So the type, the type of that input obviously is going to be a text and the, we need also to give it a name so the name is going to be name the placeholder the placeholder which is holder which is a uh, text message that's going to let you or give you a hint about what you have to type or what you need to type so I'm going to say insert employee name employee name so this is for the this is for the name 